Hi, have you ever played an office game called Find the Available Meeting Room? Really fun, right? No, it's not fun. How about developing an application to manage those available meeting rooms? Let me share two options to do this. First, let's vibe code it. I'm pretty sure of what I want, so let's start using cursor to build the application. Well, not so fast. First, we need to make sure we have installed Postgres for the database server and Node.js for the application server. You got that? So let's continue. Okay, now we are using cursor and with some iterations, we are now able to create the front end and the back end of the application. It's time to share this with everyone on your company. If your company has a cloud first approach, then you will need a tool like Docker, for example, in order to build the containers that will run your applications on the cloud. And to do that, you will need a lot of configuration files. Also, you will need to write scripts to deploy everything to the cloud. You will need to take care of the volumes, open ports, and manage the network connections. All of that to assure that your application is running safely and securely in the cloud. But now, don't let all of this work kill the good vibes, right? Remember I told you that we had two options? The second option is to use OutSystems Mentor. You can use the prompt that you used in Cursor to build your application. Now, the big difference here is that to push this application to production, there is no need to write those scripts. All you need to do is wish for it. Well, almost. With ODC Portal, you can manage all of your deployments. So if you enjoy Vibe coding, this is the equivalent to Vibe deploying. And just like that, your application is now running in production. Well, the future of software development is changing for sure. So forget about the syntax and enjoy the vibes. Cheers.